Do you want to add a contact form to your WordPress site? By adding a contact form to your site, you can provide an easy way for your visitors to contact you about your products and services. So in this video, we're going to show you how to create a contact form in WordPress the easy way. Welcome to Monster Insights, a better way to see your Google Analytics data, allowing you to focus on creating content that will help you grow your website and build your business. Be sure to check out the links that we've left in the description, hit that subscribe button and notification bell, and be part of the conversation. Adding a contact form is much more efficient than just adding your email address to your site and then expecting people to contact you. Contact forms are more user-friendly. A contact form makes it super easy for your users to get in touch with you without ever leaving your site. And they help protect you from spam, because if you display your email address openly on your site, there's a very good chance that you'll get lots of spam messages. And contact forms help you stay more organized. A contact form allows you to guide your users through the messaging process so you get relative and consistent information and you can be better organized. Now, the first thing you'll need to do is to choose the best contact form plugin for your site. Now, there are a lot of form plugin choices available and the process of finding the right one for your needs can be exhausting. And while there are many form plugins to choose from, we've chosen WP Forms Lite for this tutorial because we think it's the absolute best contact form for WordPress. And you can choose to use WP Forms Lite and download it from the WordPress repository or purchase a licensed plan. To begin, you'll need to open your WordPress dashboard and install the WP Forms Lite plugin. Now, to do this, you can just go to your admin sidebar, hover your mouse over plugins, and then click Add New. Now, in the search field, just type in WP Forms to find the plugin. Next, click the Install button and then click the Activate button to complete the installation process. Now you'll see a welcome page appear on your screen and a WP Forms menu will appear in your WordPress admin area. All right, next we'll create a form. Now to do that on your admin sidebar, hover your mouse over WP Forms, and then click Add New. This will open the form setup page. The first thing you'll need to do is add a form name and then select Simple Contact Form. Now you'll see the WP Forms drag and drop form builder, and you'll see a ready to use simple contact form. So you'll notice that it already has the necessary fields like name, email, and the message box. If this suits your needs, you can go ahead and click the save button at the top. On this page, you can also add additional fields to your contact form by merely dragging them from the left-hand side panel to the right-hand side panel. Using WP Forms Lite, you can only use the standard fields on your form. If you'd like to use the fancy fields and payment fields, you'll need to purchase the WP Forms Pro. It allows you to create advanced forms like order forms, donation forms, survey forms, and more. Now, if you need to customize a form, you can drag the fields and reorder them. Also, you can customize the form fields by clicking the Fields Option tab. Now, once you're done customizing, you can save it. Now that you've created your contact form, you'll want to set up your form notifications and confirmations. A form notification is an email that you'll get when a user submits a message on your site's contact form. Now to configure your form notification, just head over to Settings, then Notifications. Now you'll see the default settings are already there, so you can just leave these as they are if you like the messages to be sent to the site administrator. This makes it super easy for beginners. You can set up a form confirmation as well. That's what your website visitor sees after submitting a form. Now that can be a thank you email, or you can display a page, or even redirect them to a specific URL. So to customize your form confirmation, just go to settings and then confirmation. You can leave the form confirmation type to message, or you can change it to show page or go to URL. Just be sure that you click the save button if you make any changes. Now that you've created and configured your contact form settings, let's look at how to add a form to your WordPress page. You can create a new page or add your contact form to an existing page. All right, now in your editor, if you're creating a new page, you'll need to give it a title. So we'll just call our page title, Contact Us. You can either click on the plus button directly under the title or at the page editor's top left corner to add a new block. Now from there, scroll down to the Widgets option and select WP Forms. Now you'll be able to select the form that we've just created. And when it's done loading, just go ahead and click on the Publish button at the top right corner. You can then click on the View Page button and you're all done. 
Now, be sure to test your form thoroughly before going live to make sure everything is working correctly. Now, if you'd like to add your contact form to the sidebar or other widget-ready area, like your site's footer, you can use the WP Forms widget. So from your admin sidebar, you'll want to hover your mouse over Appearance, and then click on Widgets, and then find the WP Forms widget. Now, just click the drop-down menu, select the sidebar or footer where you'd like the widget to appear, and click Add Widget. Then you can just head over to the sidebar and position your WP Forms widget by dragging and dropping it in the location where you want it. Now you can add the title for your widget and select your form from the drop-down menu and click the Save button. But wait, we're not quite done. Now that you've added a contact form to your site, it's essential to know how your contact forms are doing. So by tracking your WordPress forms, you can see the total number of views and conversions your forms are triggering, as well as the conversion rate of your forms. So to help you with form tracking, we've created the Monster Insights Google Analytics plugin. Our form add-on works with any contact form plugin, so it's easy to see your WP Forms analytics and those from other WordPress form plugins as well. It's a user-friendly tool that you can configure in just a few clicks without having to touch any code. You just install Monster Insights, connect it to your Google Analytics account, and activate the Monster Insights Forms add-on, and your forms will be tracked automatically. To learn more, just visit the link in the description below. Now would be a great time to join more than 2 million professionals who are using Monster Insights and instantly get the analytics that you need to grow your business. To get a special discount on Monster Insights, just check out the link in the description and to learn more Monster Insights tips, tricks, and techniques, just click one of the videos that's on your screen now.